it has arrived. Today we are unboxing together. Today we have a huge box. Check out the size and the scale of this box. It looks pretty insane. It's not too heavy. It's also not too light. I wanted to say thanks for tuning in. Today is going to be really awesome. This is potentially going to be my favourite camper van modification yet. It has been approximately two days since I ordered it. It was 140 English pounds and I believe this is potentially one of the sickest mods I'm going to have put in the T6 van. Ah, uh, going to unbox this right now. Right now, you are going to share this experience with me. My days. Check it. So, it looks somewhat like a huge oversized egg holder. But I can reassure you it's not an egg holder. Feels pretty good to be back in, in, the, uh, in the mod shop actually, doing some work on. What do you actually think it is? You're watching this video right now, don't lie to me. What do you think it is? If you've watched it already in your comments saying what it is, I'm going to be disappointed. What do you think it is right now? I kind of told you actually in the last video what it, what it was. Oh my god. Let's get that out of here. Look at this. This is awesome. Check this out. For some of you who have no idea at all what the hell this is, is a door card for a transporter T5 and T6. Let's get it open. And basically this goes on the sliding door to give more storage. Oh my god. It's actually really, really nice. Check it. What do you guys think of that? As you can see, pretty cool. We've got one, I'm going to look at you through here on the video. But we've got a big pocket on the top, like a deep one to put loads of stuff in. And then you've got the big, big one in the middle there. That is pretty deep actually. And then we've got the bottom one, which is kind of deep as well. Um, today we are going to be installing this, which is going to be awesome. I am very, very excited to gain three pouches to put batteries, cameras, chargers, dog leads, dog harnesses, mobile phones, camera batteries, just everything is going to go in these. But there's one strict rule with these, nothing can come out. Nothing can come out this way. If something's hanging out, because it's going on the sliding door on the outside of the van, it basically would scratch the side of the van. So, without any further interferences, let's fit this bad boy. I have no idea how much insulation we are going to be losing here. Check out the curtains. The curtains are quite cool. Don't diss the curtains. If you diss the curtains, I swear to God I'm going to come and find you off YouTube. I'm actually not. I'm, I'm not. Welcome home to the van. Today is going to be quite educational. It'll be one way of putting it. We are going to put that up there for now. Basically, I'm guessing all this insulation that I once upon a time installed needs to come out because I think we get away with having some stuffed up that side there, but I think a lot of it is definitely going to have to come out. My guess is people probably spray foam these. If you are hyped on transporter mods, smash the thumbs up button. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. I'm not sure how much of this you can actually see, but we are now going to install this into the sliding door. We have moved you closer in the van. Welcome. And as you can hear, it's pretty sound deadened in here. And from inside, the roof looks totally, totally awesome. To think the roof was completely free as well. I got the roof completely free. Um, one of my mates, Ben, grabbed it for me, which is pretty sick. I'm hyped on it. But as you can see, it is a pretty cool place to be. And I've just showed you guys, but I'm just showing you again. You can get windows that go on the sliding doors. And basically they have openable windows for like dogs and air and out the van and stuff like that. I'm still thinking of putting one in, which is why I haven't committed and put the actual carpeted panel back up on the sliding door yet. How will she fit? I've never tried to install one of these before. It should be pretty straightforward. I 
and that it was. Quite straightforward. That was insane. Kiravans, everything fits. This is not a paid promotion. I have bought this for £140. And I would say on the whole, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now I'm a little bit puzzled though, as I haven't checked the box yet. So I am a little bit nervous about how it's gonna bolt on. So I'm gonna check the box and find out. Stay there. I've got many poppers and they are extra long. Um, I remember reading it on the packet now when I bought it. They're basically extra long gray poppers to go with the door card. Um, I know this doesn't look the prettiest, but I actually think it goes quite well with the theme of the van. We've got a bit of wood going on. I still need to do something with this wheel arch, by the way, I am aware. I've sound deadened it. Um, I have sound deadened the wheel arch. I am aware that I still need to do something like box it in. Maybe I'll get to that today for the end of this video. We will find out. Show me some support as well. Smash the thumbs up button. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you've got your own VW, let me know what mods you've done to it. And we'll get chatting in the comments. Okay, so. First one. Going in. Oh my God. That is actually insane. I'm wondering whether. Okay. That is solid. This is probably going to be quite a long procedure, so I will probably time lapse this. It's nice that it's solid. I mean, look at that. That is basically like only got one, two, three, four. That one's not even fully in, is now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only six in so far and there's no movement in that top left section, which is quite cool, actually. To be honest, it's kind of one of them things. Depends how much you value storage, but I think that is awesome. I don't know whether that means I'm getting really old or like I'm a hardcore mountain biker at this point, but that is pretty, pretty cool, I think. I'm pretty hyped on that. So I'm gonna get all of this in. We're gonna take the van outside and I'm gonna do a little bit of a test. Well, it's just a sliding door, but we're gonna just test it and see if it rubs down the side. So stay tuned. Okay, so it is installed. Check it out. It is actually really stiff as well. Basically, it is installed. I think it looks quite cool, actually. I'm pretty hyped on that. Some people may be commenting, why haven't I taken this thing out? You have to take this out to put a swivel or double seat in. Basically, this was pretty insane amount of graft to get out. Use a grinder and stuff. But the van was only like a 2017 place. I need to put some carpet on here as well. I am aware that is quite rough. I come up short with some carpet, so I'm going to patch that up a little bit. And then it'll be sick. But, basically... Um, to do the swiveler once upon a time in my old T5, I actually cut this and smoothed it all here to save me taking it all out and just took the section out there all the way along so that I didn't have to actually take all of these panels off with the seat belts on down the sides. That's what you have to do to get that piece of metal out. But basically, that is a bit of a nightmare, that piece of metal. But the reason why I once upon a time left this in was because I was thinking of putting a bulkhead in with a window. So that is still kind of on the agenda. So that's why I've left that in for anybody wondering. Um, it was going to be quite useful to me. Anyways, back to the door card. I am pretty hyped on that actually. Really, really hyped. Um, it does say on the packaging that it's not designed to be used with insulation. So I'm honestly going to say I would rate that a solid 10 out of 10. Okay, so the van is looking quite dirty. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of mileage in it. I bought this many many months ago basically blacked out kit on the front for anybody that hasn't seen it land rover range rover wheels they are 20 inch pretty sick i had to put two new tires on the rear the other day and it's slammed on coilovers i got some black badges carbon and carbon wrapped spoilers at the top don't know how much you can see those but got carbon wrapped spoilers on the top how will the door card work will she be golden Oh, it's close. No way. So basically, you would not want to leave absolutely anything hanging out of them because you would scratch the outside of that rear panel. But as long as you keep that rule of thumb there, you should have no issues at all. That is mega. That is mega, mega bit of kit. Got to be honest, I'm pretty hyped on that. 
very dirty, to be honest. I was gonna look if there's any scratches, but it is super, super dirty. I'm pretty hyped on that though. That's kind of cool. This brings us to an emotional end of today's video. Uh, that was a pretty straightforward mod. Pretty hyped on how smoothly that went for me. But I'm pretty hyped on that. So, future camp mods. I want a box this bedding along the front like this with doors and cupboards on the sides once it's boxed and got cupboard doors on it and stuff like that i'm gonna think about maybe putting some sort of pallet wood on it or potentially some of the leftover carpet from doing the inside of the van um i'm also gonna kind of tidy up these curtains that i've got going on kind of put them over sew them out stuff like that um tomorrow i'm buying a um petrol portable generator which is actually thanks to you guys in the comments section on the last transporter video you suggested getting a petrol one instead of a diesel one because the petrol one is lighter and they fire up a lot easier and stuff so a lot quieter as well i've heard so basically i want to say shout out everybody who commented saying get a petrol one instead of a diesel one and yeah next couple of days are going to be the funner part of the camper van now that the full van is insulated carpeted and now the sliding door is finished basically we have a working insulated camper van i'm hyped that's going to bring us to the end of today's video make sure you check out link in the description ownerofficial.com um for all my jerseys t-shirts hoodies and make sure you tune back in tomorrow where i'm going to be riding some bikes or doing some more camper mods shout out smash the thumbs up button see you tomorrow peace